Altitude. I've always loved flight combat games, so I jumped on the chance to review this one. But Altitude is not like any other flight combat game you may have played. This one is a 2D side-scrolling multiplayer PC, Mac, and Linux hectic dogfight with plenty of depth for those looking to make their mark as terror of the skies. The player has a multitude of planes to customize using perks and skins. The game even has controller support for those less inclined to use the clunky mouse and keyboard configuration. So can this title with its $10 price tag stand up to the extraordinarily nitpicky standards of Explicit Gamer? Or will it simply stall out and crash and burn? The gameplay of Altitude is fairly basic. Pressing left and right on the arrow keys acts a lot like pushing forward and pulling back on the controls of a plane, and the throttle is controlled by the up and down keys. Each plane is equipped with a primary and secondary weapon. In addition to these standard weapons, there are special power-ups littered around the map. Some shield you for a period of time, some repair your plane, or there's even one that launches a missile that packs quite a bit more punch than your standard weapons. The gameplay is simple, but solid. Solid enough that whenever you run into a rock face going full speed, it is without a doubt your fault. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you have it down, it feels as natural as riding a bike. The design of the game also tends to remain on the simple side with modes such as the standard free-for-all and team deathmatch, and there are other modes such as a soccer-like game and a mode where the player defends their base, but the real depth of the game is in its plane customization. There are various perks that the player can equip their rig with to customize their flight combat experience. The game sports an impressively detailed and robust level-up system. You gain experience by downing enemy ships, completing mode objectives, and by fulfilling specific challenges designed and tailored towards each specific ship's handling, speed, and firepower. The visuals of Altitude are really about what they need to be. They won't be winning in the awards or attracting new players. The menu system is extremely basic, but it's standard fare for a small PC game like this. When it comes to the game's graphics, there really isn't a whole lot to say. The game neither falls flat, nor does it soar to new heights. It just... is. Sound is another one of those departments where the game neither fails nor excels. There's a rather nice heroic tune when on the main menu, but other than that, there's no music worth mentioning anywhere else in the game. The sound effects fit the game's style pretty well, so I do have to give it props for that. It seems all too common these days for a game to have one or two sound effects that are solely designed to make your ears bleed. And thankfully, Altitude has none of these, and for this, I'm going to go ahead and bump up its audio score slightly. There are a few other minor gripes with the game, however. For instance, some of the cooler skins for your plane are locked, and one of the only two ways you can obtain them is to whore out the game to your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or other those social networking sites. The second way is to recruit friends into buying the game. This may seem like a minor complaint, but to deny features of a game after you've ponied up the full purchase price seems maybe a little bit greedy. This may be the fact that I play on a wireless network, but another gripe I had was being repeatedly kicked from games because my pain. It can be rather annoying. Overall, the game is fun to play and pretty much worth a $10 admission fee. I suggest playing the demo first to make sure it's the kind of game that is going to appeal to you. It's simple to play and made even easier through a well-made tutorial system, so hopping into a game and becoming an ace of the skies is not as daunting as it may sound. There's just something very satisfying with the tight controls and blazing your way through a flock of enemies to drop a bomb and win the game. And so for that satisfactory reason, I'm going to go ahead and give Altitude a 7 out of 10.